Abigail, I just want to go into that villa and tell her to move on and to get talking to somebody else because to you can't rely on Toby. Jake is just trying to secure his bag. I don't buy it. Going to lie and pe people might hate me for saying this, but they kind of sue. I do love Millie. Like times, yeah, I'm so sorry. You have to give guys the taste of their own medicine. Like put your eggs in multiple baskets because people ain't like men ain't shit. I'm hey guys welcome back to my channel hello if you're new here my name is Ngozi and welcome to discover Ngozi so first of all thanks for everyone who watched my first ever reaction video that I did yesterday and yeah let's just get straight into today's one the two episode was good I feel like it was it was all right it wasn't bad it was kind of entertaining the first bit and the last bit as well um I feel like Chloe and Dill to be honest they do seem quite suited I guess so I feel like they could be something there she keep going she keeps going on about his chains I don't even see what chains he was wearing and I don't know why she keeps banging on about that but they seem cute to be honest like she's single so she has to kind of come out with someone from there and also one thing that is surprising me is Abigail being reluctant about moving on and I just feel like why because she's known Toby for like three nights and four days or something like Fair enough if she feels like she's more suited to Toby, but like knowing how Toby is and his history there, surely she knows how he was with Kaz and then with Chloe. Like I'm sure she knows that she should not expect any loyalty. Like fair enough for the rest of the girls to question whether the boys will come back in coupled up. But I feel like Abigail should know from how Toby has been that he will definitely be coming back with someone. So I don't know where she's been throughout the show. I don't know if she's not, hasn't been watching, but... I don't trust Toby, no one, like, she should know that. And I'm just really surprised how none of the girls in the main villa are, maybe they just don't find any of those guys attractive. Because it's just kind of like, Chloe, Abigail, even Kaz, like, yes, I know she's just made a connection with Tyler, but being closed off that soon, I feel like nobody should be closed off that soon. Maybe that's just how I view dating, and maybe that's just me, but I feel like unless they really are not attracted to those new boys... Apart from Liberty, n nobody else, and Li Millie, like nobody else should really be like closed off because I think that because they know how custom more usually goes, I th I see it like a way. I don't think anybody wants to be that disloyal person and I don't know if the girls are genuinely not attracted to any of the guys and I wouldn't blame them because let's be honest, the custom more girls are way better looking than like the the new guys in the villa. So maybe there's just none of their type there, which I guess is fair enough, but Abigail, I just want to go into that villa and tell her to move on and to get talking to somebody else because to you can't rely on Toby. Like, obviously, we don't know what's happening in there. We only see an hour out, 24 hours of the day. So we don't know how it was with her and Toby. But I don't know why anyone should trust Toby or why she thinks that he should he, he might actually not get his hair turned because the minute he got there, he was already... Look how excited he was. was like, oh, lad's holiday. Like, he was already so excited. So I don't know what she's expecting and yeah the girl of the main villa like i feel bad for these new boys because they're getting no time of the day they they're literally avoiding them like the plague and it could be for whatever reasons but i do kind of feel bad for them because at, at this rate it looks like out of those five new boys at least four are definitely going home which is kind of peak for them because they're literally like they're leaving as quicker than they even quarantine they, they're, if they stay is even shorter than how long they had to quarantine to come into that villa which is just so peak and also one thing i noticed that i thought was a bit sus you know how jake was egging liam on to get to know lily like this guy it could be two things it could be he's just being a good friend and he's just being like listen follow your heart do what's best for you or jake is just trying to secure his back because this jake guy i don't know what it is i just don't trust him maybe i'm judging him wrongly like people judge molly and tommy but i definitely don't trust him and i feel like he's egging on the rest of the guys to be disloyal to their girls so that he, is, he secures his bag because let's be real love island is a game like guys it's called love island people go in there to find love but the cash price is money so it's a game like they're in there so if love island if the if there was no um 50k cash price after i really wonder if it will be as popular as it is now and i really wonder if people will still go on it like let's be real we know what comes with it the you know the love you get from the audience and from brands if you win or if you were even on it so i think jake knows that and he is trying to secure his bag and i really think that that's why he's egging on the guys egging on teddy egging on liam to talk to other girls like i'll oh, follow your heart i don't know if he's doing that because he actually cares about them and their feelings or if he's doing that because he's just trying to secure his bag and i just believe that jake is just trying to secure his bag i don't buy it and I think those guys need to be very watchful of that. And they might not know 
obviously as a viewer you see it differently to how it is in there you can see things from multiple perspective and this is just my perspective on how i feel about jake egging on the and guys. also liam and lily i'm not going to lie and pe people might hate me for saying this but they kind of sue i do love millie like the minute Lim millie got there i've been her f i've been a millie stan from day one and i do really like her and M liam together but guys liam and lily they actually kind of sue like let's be real and everyone is like you know oh liam this liam that i know it's peak and it would have been nice for him to be loyal but guys how like let's be real if none of the guys heads turned what are we were even watching like let's be real like it's literally the more they mess up the more it's entertaining the more they can build engagement so this thing like it's kind of it's drama i know it's reality tv but it's kind of drama as well like that's what fuels it that's what keeps it going so obviously this builds engagement and lily i don't know her yet obviously like she hasn't she's just only been day two or seen her on camera so we don't really know what she's like but i really think that lily and him actually kind of suit and might i say i think they even suit just a little bit better than him and millie i know it's not all about looks i know it's not all about that but it just in terms of the vibe i just see it i'm sorry but i actually do and i feel bad for millie because i have there's still a possibility don't get me wrong liam might actually walk in there a single guy after realizing that he prefers millie but right now with liam it's a 50 50 chance that he's coming back to that villa single or that he's um it's a 50 50 chance that he might come yeah so if he comes back single great for them but if he comes back with lily guys don't act like you don't want to see that castle more drama if don't act like you don't want faye and millie to be the main victim because it's gonna be like a bomb like it will be a lot to watch and it will be great but yeah um i'm not surprised that liam had his hair turned lily is a gorgeous girl obviously and they obviously that's his type so they, the producers knew what they were doing by bringing her in there and i wouldn't be completely mad i'll be sad for millie but i won't be mad because it'll be entertaining and as a viewer i'm not gonna lie it's just it's just nice it's just more it's more engaging when there's actually drama going on and tyler um i don't know i with tyler right now it's between that brunette girl i'm not sure her name amy is between amy and clarice that he's feeling i think i don't know if i feel like tyler is definitely probably not coming back single i feel bad for kaz but at the same time like if this is like because i'm always meant to be a test in it so it's like the perfect opportunity to see if the guy's loyal to you or not and i feel like it will just be it will help for her but i feel bad for her because she's had it really peak in there and then tyler finally comes in and then he's swept away it would be really nice if kaz is not a casamo victim because i like she's had she's had it tough in that villa like none of the guys have been checking for her and she's gorgeous don't know what's wrong with these men but i won't be surprised if tyler sways and i feel like for kaz just for her own i know it's hard to open up to people i was rooting for her and um what's his name medi but obviously it, like you it has to be a real connection so maybe she and medi don't have anything there but i feel like kaz should for her own sake get to know all the guys just to see if there's anyone who is more intellectually or emotionally suited to her than tyler because just for her sake i feel like she should do that and hugo getting rejected again there's no surprise here i'm so sorry like i'm gonna the day i never i'm so sorry this whole nice guy act i've never bought it like what makes it's so funny because people like he doesn't get girls and ultimately he's a nice guy like what actually makes hugo a nice guy apart from the fact that like, he's been getting rejected loads and last time when they did that did that challenge he was left on his own like it was really hard it was really peak to see that but i don't buy this whole nice guy act and i don't even feel sorry for him i'm so sorry he has no game that man has literally like he does not know how to flirt and i know it's not easy for everyone and i know that it should come naturally but like he just <sighs> Who, like let's be real everyone's saying save hugo save hugo do you even want to be with hugo like you can you even form like a flirty conversation with him i know that obviously there's an element of friendship but i feel like he has no game and i'm so sorry and it's just the truth and i don't know what he's been doing there i would have much rather seen aaron on my screen than seen hugo on my screen but there we go so he probably will come back with another girl even if he seems them as a friendship couple as he's always doing it's at the end of the day like 
one of those girls will probably come back with Hugo. It wouldn't make sense for him to come back by himself because he has no romantic connection in the villa. I'm not surprised that he's getting rejected. I feel like the girls might have seen how he was. I don't think it's because they're purely not attracted to him. I feel like the whole way he went about the Toby thing and how he's been acting, I feel like people are now seeing that's a bit sus and a lot of people are kind of like turning against his direction. And yeah i don't know the girls in the main villa i just they're playing their way too safe for me they're avoiding those boys like play the plague and i get it like they're being loyal but i just feel like this is just a thing like women we just settle sometimes yeah i'm so sorry you have to give guys the taste of their own medicine like put your eggs in multiple baskets because people aren't like men ain't shit i'm so sorry but they actually aren't so it's kind of heat i don't like that the girls are being so like closed off and stuff like i feel like they should just give themselves the chance of talking to them i'm not saying that they should be you know asking them to sleep in bed with them or making out i'm not saying that but just at least get to know them they're playing it way too safe and they're just gonna end up really hurt when these guys come in with all these clarice girls. i don't know clarice and teddy clarice and tyler so long as clarice comes back with someone because i like clarice she has, seems quite funny quite bubbly she's charismatic we need energy in that main villa like no shade to the og girls or the og boys but we just don't see much of their personality online and the few days that she's been um on like on tv and the few days that clarice has been in there she seems quite bubbly and she seems like she's got a good vibe and i want to get to see more of her i wanted to see more of summer but sadly that probably isn't happening because we didn't even get to see summer once today which makes me really angry and i don't even want to talk about all of that because that's a whole different topic but these love island producers i don't even know what they're trying to do with giving her no airtime or giving all these boys giving her no time of the day they're like i don't know why she's there bro this girl if she went to love island usa me and my friend were talking about this just now if she went to love island usa they would have eaten her up like <laughs> she is beautiful like what just these guys in this uk love island they don't deserve summer and to be honest probably best for her i don't think she's attracted to anyone if she is she hasn't been grafting and i know that it's not normal for girls to graft but if you're in casa more you're trying to get to the main villa you have to graft you actually have to because you're trying to get into the main show otherwise your days are literally counted there but yeah let me know what you guys think of today's episode in the comment below um i think it was good i'm looking forward to tomorrow i think that premiere for tomorrow i think the guys the girls are seeing like pictures of the guys in the games and stuff and i feel like it will get like a good reaction out there but these it's, it must be so hard imagine like for liberty like it'll see your boyfriend on some last holiday talking about other girls and talking about how his head might turn like that is actually emotional torture but they knew what they were putting themselves into by signing up for this show but i hope you enjoyed this guys my normal videos will be coming back soon i'm working on something right now so i can't say when but i will produce other videos as well not just reviews but because love island is daily you will probably be getting daily reviews from me unless i feel like there's nothing to talk about but thank you so much for the reception of my last video it did as it did well and hoping that it will just keep getting better and yeah guys thank you so much and see you next week bye